something that's kind of cool is this rock how uh how much you know erosion from the water has been on it i don't know it could be fossilized i don't know um i know there's some geologists who like to follow my blog or my uh my vlogs my videos feel free to comment below and tell me uh what you think of that rock it's kind of cool a lot of cool rocks in this uh particular creek I know a certain someone who really likes rocks I need to bring her here <laughs> rocks are cool though that's one thing folks uh, in the process of writing my book I'm writing a book about hiking in southern Illinois and in the process of it you know I I mentioned the fact that people are always looking for signs of ancient natural beauty you know old trees are you know the virgin growth trees are are rare and uh, when we really look at it though these rocks here these are the, the signs of ancient natural beauty because the bluffs have been there before dinosaurs I mean if you really want to deeply think into it the bluffs have been there longer than humans have existed that's pretty ancient and that's pretty cool howdy folks Sean here from hiking with Sean on YouTube today I'm in the Burden Falls Bell Smith area here at Burden Falls first just checking out the waterfalls they're 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 there they're little but just kind of gave me something to do um, my stomach kind of hurts today for some reason so I'm just making it the easy hike day gonna go check on the graffiti at Bell Smith Springs at uh, myself and fellow members uh, the friends of the Shawnee National Forest tried to remove during our trash blast and uh, go see what it looks like and I just cleaned up the parking lot there's quite a bit of trash in it and uh, it, it was one thing to pick up a, a, a dirty diaper but it was really really gross spine chilling to pick up a used condom but I did it <laughs> I had gloves on <laughs> I will say that but here's a little fall right on the side of the road um, obviously I've seen it a lot a lot better still kind of cool to see just a pretty little uh, pretty little area there's like a note hanging on a tree over here might have to go check that out but you know those of you who I doubt anyone watching my videos are the type to trash a forest but oh wow that's a that's a birdhouse of sorts let's see what it says notice this trap is far, part of a forest pest survey project by the University of Illinois please do not disturb Wow, that is cool. Huh. That's interesting. Got Burden Falls Creek here. Really cool creek. Pretty area. And shockingly, I'm the only one here. I mean, it's, it's chilly, but it's not that chilly. I could ride a bike in this weather. 
would rather hike, but <laughs> that's kind of cool. That's really cool how that work, how that looks. I'm gonna have to take a picture of that. I've never really seen it like that. Here lately I've came out here and it's just been massive roaring waterfall. Which is still cool, but I love the trickles. I love when it's just trickling down. And it's a little bit more drier, so it's easier to get down without without having to fall and hurt. Ugh. That's really neat. Burden Falls is really a special place. Even if it is so widely visited. It's still a really special place. It's a really cool roadside attraction, if you will. Nice big pool, clear pool. Oh, there's an ink pen. I've been trying to get every piece of little trash I see. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to that without slipping. I hate to leave it behind. You know, you, you pick up a, a used condom and a diaper and then you gotta leave behind an ink pen. I guess it ain't too bad. Just been getting into a mode where I wanna clean up trash when I see it. I see graffiti. Little fall. folks there's the main fall yeah, pretty pretty little big canyon all the cool bluffage all sorts of good bluffage over here lots of bluffage good fall too you definitely don't want to fall off so my advice is not to stand there <laughs> or else you will fall because that is slick anything that that is wet out here is going to be slick that oh yeah that's really slick it'd be like walking on ice downhill <laughs> wouldn't be smart Pretty area. Always a feat. <clears throat> well, that'll make up for that ink pen. The hard way up and down is this way. You go through all this and just make your way down on the boulders not very safe uh, there's an easier way down you follow a trail which is right up here and you just go around and and eventually come down the canyon into the canyon and uh, make your way following the creek just get on the creek and come back up and 
you'll eventually make it to the uh, fall. Really a nice place to come. Um, in the summer when it's raging, it's nice, but there's so many people here. It's hard to find a parking spot and there's, you know, partiers and it's just not really worth it. Same with Bell Smith. I think these uh, signs are important to take note of other than drawing vulgar symbols on them. Falls from cliffs near this area have resulted in death. They really have. People have died here. They've come here to enjoy a nice hike, made the wrong decision, and, and perished. Rocks are slippery in wet conditions. I showed you that earlier. If it's wet, it's slick. If it's green, it's really slick. If it's wet and green, it's really, really slick. Stay back from cliff edges. Um, I know I get close, but I'm being really cautious, moving really slow. And uh, if you're not careful, you'll fall. Observe posted warnings like this one. And most importantly, parents, watch your children. So many times I've went to areas like Garden of the Gods, Observation, Camel Rock area, and seen kids just run free. And that's scary, folks, because there's no fail safe for them kids if they fall. And they're not going to put that up. There, you know, there's not enough budget, and plus it takes away from the natural beauty to put up barricades. You know, it's not a, it's not a question of what can you do to make it safer for my kids. It's a question of how can you keep your kids safe by watching them and actually being a parent. My two cents.